morning guys what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new it's almost 8 a.m and i am at the gym about to go in and get my workout on i have two super busy days between today and tomorrow but i thought i would vlog because i've been in the mood to vlog lately and you know this vlog might be a little bit chaotic not gonna lie just because i have so much going on between client appointments i have a really big meeting today and i have a lot of work to do right before that meeting so i'm gonna vlog as much as i can but hopefully this vlog doesn't end up being a flop because of how busy i am i guess we will see just got finished and i'm so sweaty but i'm definitely less sweatier than when i run i was telling chad like i don't really like running anymore because i get so sweaty and it just completely melts away my spray tan which is such a stupid problem to have when i go to the gym i sweat less but like i'm so sweaty right now like too hard it's just gonna melt away and in case anyone cares here's the stats for today's workout i couldn't do the stairmaster at the end which i was supposed to but instead i ran on the treadmill at five miles an hour and then I stopped it and then I went up to an incline of six and dropped it down to like a three miles per hour and did that and then I did another five minutes so like 15 minutes total but very high intensity both in different ways though so kind of to make up for the fact that I couldn't go on the Stairmaster. There's four Stairmasters in my gym. Two of them have signs on it that it doesn't work. One was in use and the other one just doesn't start and I tried it last week twice and it did the same thing so Basically, there's one Stairmaster at my gym and someone's always on it, so I couldn't use it. I'm putting some little curls in my hair because I have a really, really important meeting today with one of my big clients. Um, it's just our second strategy session, but it's super important because this is when I'm gonna be presenting the results of my social media management for the last month for them. And even though I've done social media management for other brands before, this is a bigger deal because it's a higher paying client and they're part of a franchise, so it's, just a lot bigger of a deal and I really want to impress them so and that includes looking nice so I am just curling my hair. I just got to Starbucks. I didn't vlog anything this morning. I was very frantic putting together these social media analytics reports and printing them out and everything but I got everything done so and I'm 15 minutes early so I'm gonna go order my coffee sit down get comfy we meet at Starbucks for this client because the location is right by Starbucks so very convenient for me so I'm gonna go sit down get my coffee and have this meeting and I will catch up with you guys after that the meeting went really really well and I'm at my storage unit now I have some orders for sun styled that I have to pack and then I have another meeting at two o'clock so busy day today much later now and I'm about to start dinner and I am trying out a new recipe tonight um, for black bean burgers. I found the recipe on Pinterest, I think, and it looks super good. So we're gonna see how it turns out. Either way, I'll leave the recipe linked in the description in case you guys wanna try it. <laughs> Not cool, man. Why are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so beautiful. <laughs> relax now but the house is an absolute wreck so I'm going to spend like 20 or 30 minutes just cleaning everything up because I'll be in a better mood and I will sleep better tonight. Morning guys it is currently 6 a.m. and I am getting out of the house extra early it's still dark outside it's actually been a while since I have gone to the gym this early finished my workout and I am driving home now really super sweaty because I actually was able to find a Stairmaster that wasn't taken so I did my last 
um, like seven minutes of my workout just on the Stairmaster at level six. So it makes me super out of breath and sweaty, but it's a good way to end the workout. I bought these at Walmart earlier this week. They're just some protein bars to switch it up because sometimes I don't feel like drinking a protein shake. So I'm gonna do one of these protein bars and I'll let you guys know how they are. Hi, I placed a mobile order. It's under the name Melissa. You said under the name of Melissa? Yes. Gotcha. Give me one second. Okay. I'll see you now. Thank you. Is anyone else really weirded out by the olive oil drink that Starbucks is offering? Like, I can't knock it because I haven't tried it. I don't plan on trying it unless my sister or Jennifer or somebody tries it and tells me that it's good because it just seems really weird to have olive oil in a drink. But I do love olive oil. Like I love dipping bread in olive oil with like spices and stuff. I love cooking with olive oil, obviously. I like salad dressings with olive oil in it, but for some reason, the idea of having that in my coffee is just weird to me. But anyways, I am heading to my hair appointment right now and I don't know what I'm doing today, you guys. I had told her that I wanted to do color this time. Um, so we're gonna do a trim and add some color. Last time, I mean like two times ago maybe, so a while back I did add some highlights but like really subtle so I have like a little bit of dimension in my hair but I want to do more because it's summertime and I want to like lighten up quite a bit more. So I found some cute inspo picks, but I don't know if it's like too dramatic for me but here's my inspo picks. Um, I'm very unsure of myself so I'm gonna go in there and talk to her and see what she thinks but I am really excited to at least just get a trim maybe do something with my hair today thank you so much have a nice day you too mm, slowly coming back to life home from the hair salon what do you guys think i absolutely love it there's so much more dimension to my hair it got an absolutely necessary haircut and it just feels and looks so much healthier now i'm just eating a piece of toast with some hummus on it it was supposed to have avocado on it but my avocado that i got like two days ago is bad now and it looked perfectly fine on the outside but then when i cut it open it was deceiving because the inside looked gross but I also just discovered these little rice cakes that are so freaking good, you guys. I got them just kind of on a whim and they had a good score on the Yuka app, which I've been using religiously. If you don't use that app, you would be shocked by the amount of food that you have had that you thought was healthy, but actually isn't healthy. But these had a decent rating on there. I just found them at Walmart. I was like, oh, what are these? Like, let me get some. Um, I almost didn't buy them and I'm literally obsessed with them. Like I wanna buy five more bags of these because they're so good. So I recently moved my desk over here so that I could look outside while I am working because my therapist recommended that I do that. She said that it would be good for me to be able to see like some nature and just be able to see like sunlight on me. But the issue is, I can't remember if I've talked about this before, but when Chad and I got our house, which believe it or not was like literally six years ago it's crazy to say that but when we got our house we decided to have all the windows tinted because it would save electricity and i so regret that decision it definitely saved us money on our electricity bill but the issue is we don't get much natural light or the light that we do get that comes through the window is very filtered instead of direct sunlight so it's like a cave in our whole house all the time even when i open up the windows it's not like the type of sunlight we should get through our windows and it's just one of those things i didn't really think about at the time and if i could go back and undo it i would but you know here we are so i have to work with what i have which is this filtered light so it's not like a lot of sunlight but it definitely helps being able to just like see greenery out my window so you can see some greenery is like so much better to look at than just a wall because it is definitely like a little cave in here I'm not gonna lie. Good morning guys, it's a few days later and I'm actually in Tampa for the weekend and I decided to continue my vlog here because I am working out with my personal trainer in person today because I think I told you guys before that she's located in Tampa but she works with clients virtually now so she's able to train me despite 
the fact that I don't live near her. And with the virtual personal training program, you don't have to be anywhere near her. You don't have to ever work out in person with her. I just luckily go visit my sister in Tampa and because she's located in Tampa, I have the ability to work out with her in person when I'm here, which is really cool. So I'm gonna introduce you guys to her today and hopefully if it's not too busy in the gym, record some behind the scenes of my workouts you can see. my workout here are the stats I forgot to shut this off while we were sitting there talking so it was definitely probably more like an hour and a half if I'm being honest but this workout was so good and I am so freaking proud of myself for the progress I've made definitely check out personal training if you need to get back into the gym because this is so what I needed. This vlog is apparently just one big video of me going to the gym, but I'm really glad because I'm slowly getting my gains back and I am at the gym right now. It is the next week. I didn't vlog anything while I was with my sister. You guys, I am the worst. Honestly, when I'm with my sister, I don't really like vlogging because her and I see each other so little that I just want to spend time with her and not pull out my camera, but that gives me no excuse for the rest of the time. So, sorry. You know, I am just like managing a lot right now. I'm not even gonna go into that and apologize because nobody wants to hear that. But yeah, I'm at the gym right now and it's felt so good just getting back into a consistent routine. And I just wanted to like mention that before I go in today because even though I don't go every single day and I don't get there first thing in the morning every time, like some days I go early, some days it's literally 12.30 and I'm just now getting to the gym. It's just about me getting back into this routine of going again in the first place. We can work on consistency in terms of like going at the same time every single day next you know first it's just getting back into the routine i'm giving myself the grace of that and i'm just really proud of myself because i have noticed such a major improvement when i worked out with melissa last week mainly in my recovery time but i could also lift a little bit heavier and she said my form was a lot better so like just with a lot of these basic movements i was very shaky because you know just getting back into it 
my muscles are weak I'm not very strong but now I feel so much stronger I feel so much better and that's just after like five weeks of consistently working out and not even every day like it's not even that intense but it's amazing how much stronger and better I feel so we're loving that and I know I showed you guys this already but I want to show you again in case this is your first time seeing this this is the app where I get my workouts from and it's amazing and makes the process so much easier I feel like that was the biggest thing that was holding me back was just not having that structure when I'm at the gym I don't like walking around and trying to figure out what to do next and this has everything the videos the sets the reps and I even have my history of the weights and everything I did the previous week but I think the best thing about working with a personal trainer whether it's in person or virtual are the little notes like this because this is the stuff that makes the biggest difference literally tells me the tempo so i'm pulling down fast pausing and then lengthening my arms on a four count which is what makes you target the specific muscles so much better like it's insane how much more sore how much more i feel these workouts i'm getting so much more out of the same workouts that i used to do just by following her very specific notes. I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you guys wanna check out her online personal training. And she is offering free consultations so you can get all your questions answered. And I'll leave a link for that as well so you can book a call with her. So I'm about to head in here and get my workout done for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know you guys love seeing me actually getting to work out and seeing my actual workouts. I used to record a lot in the gym. I don't really do it anymore, honestly. I don't know why I'm just like not comfortable like I used to be with that, but I did decide to record my workout with Melissa because I was working out with a personal trainer so I had a little bit more confidence because I wasn't by myself and the gym over in Tampa is way less crowded so it wasn't as like scary to record in there. Anyways if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.